now, Wave 31 Storm Tracker Chief Meteorologist Jeff Castle with 31 Triple Doppler. Well, it is freezing to <laughs> say the least yes. outside tonight. Mm. It is, yes. Uh, another cold night on the way. Um, I needed a little chapstick at the parade, <laughs> so that's kind of bothering me right now. Uh, and we're still kind of stuck in this pattern. We get one little reprieve tomorrow. Good. But... Just oh, no. one. Yeah. Oh. And then it turns colder <laughs> again. again. Yeah, for okay. the end of the week. Well. Uh, we will get a more sustained though, warm up starting this weekend. Okay. So at least there's kind of an end in yeah. sight. We'll look Tomorrow to that. We'll, we'll just be fooled thinking that that is it, but it won't be. <laughs> Let's kind of talk about a little bit of a temperature roller coaster on the way for us the next few days. We're back into the 50s tomorrow. It's warm as we've been all week long, but you see what Thursday and Friday bring. More days like today, where it may be a struggle to make our way very far into the 40s. Over the weekend, though, we do start to trend back higher. And by Sunday, maybe talking about some 60 degree temperatures again. Seems like forever since we've had those with this cold stretch. Uh, but again, for the next few days, uh, particularly for the end of the week, don't put up that winter coat, even though you may not need it later in the day tomorrow. You're going to be grabbing for it again by Thursday and Friday. Beyond that, our next weather maker coming in early next week. This will be our next major weather system that is going to bring some needed rainfall along with it. That starts as early as Sunday and may continue for the first few days of next week. And again, this will also be responsible for the milder days because this rain and this moisture is also going to come with southerly winds, which will push the colder air out of the area for at at least a few days. Likely it'll be back as this system passes through middle of next week, but at least we'll enjoy some milder temperatures. Uh, rainfall out of it also looks fairly decent at this point in time. And again, this will fall starting Sunday and continuing through Tuesday, maybe Wednesday of next week. And we're looking at on the order of uh, perhaps an inch to two inches of rain in some cases before it's all said and done over that three or four day stretch. So that would be beneficial with the ongoing drought conditions that we have in play here across the Tennessee Valley. Nothing out there precip wise. So this evening tonight we've got clear cold conditions. There'll likely be a little bit of light frost on the car windshields. There's not a ton of moisture in the air to squeeze out. But given the fact we've got clear skies and tonight compared to last night, We'll have mostly calm winds. Uh, likely will be a thin layer of frost on the car windshields first thing tomorrow morning. Future radar is showing again calm conditions overnight tonight. It's just cold. You step out tomorrow morning, heavy coats. Into the afternoon though, maybe just a light jacket. Lunchtime we're mainly sunny, but then late into the day we are tracking some cloudiness that will be coming on in. Weak little weather disturbance, not a ton of moisture with it, but some late day clouds and perhaps a few showers coming in towards midnight on Wednesday night into Thursday morning. Best chance for those would be south of the Tennessee River, and this is not going to amount to a whole lot rain-wise. And then we bring in the colder air very quickly through the day on Thursday. We may actually hit high temperatures on Thursday in the morning and then get colder heading into Thursday afternoon. It'll also be a breezy day, which will not help the way that it feels out there as that next shot of cold air comes on in. Again, tonight into tomorrow morning, low mid-20s, down to 22 in Fayetteville, 24 in Huntsville overnight. Same for Decatur, 24 in Gunnersville will drop into the low 20s over there in the Valley in Fort Payne. And tomorrow, although we will start off that cold like we did this morning, it's not going to be as chilly into the afternoon like what we saw today, and that's because we do have a southerly wind back, which is going to push away some of this chillier air force briefly. 43 around 10 in the morning. We'll make it to 50 around the noon hour tomorrow. And again, mid 50s tomorrow afternoon, just a hair below what is average now for early December. 55 for Athens, 56 Decatur. We'll go 54 in Huntsville, 52 in Scottsboro, and around 57 out towards the Shoals. Way 31 Storm Tracker 10 day brings in another shot of cold air Thursday and Friday. Highs only in the 40s. And after a morning temperature Thursday in the low 40s, we're talking about mornings back in the 20s again, Friday morning and again on Saturday. Saturday morning. Over the weekend, though, uh, we'll turn it back to a southerly wind, so that will push the cold air out, bring in some 60 degree weather, perhaps as early as Sunday. Definitely Monday, Tuesday next week, looking for that milder weather. But the trade off is that we've got some rain that will come along with it. Uh, that will be followed up by it looks like another cool down second half of next week with uh, maybe a few more days with highs only around 50. But it's not looking like those overnight lows will get quite as cold as what we've seen so far this week and what we'll continue to see for the rest of the week. I know a lot of people are happy about that. Yeah, this yeah. is a little early for this. I mean, it's, it it's early in the winter season and it makes you uh, kind of scared what uh, January and February could bring. We'll see. I know, yeah. I know, I know. And we want to give you a look at the...